What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are out here on my property and we are gonna be doing some camping for you guys. Lately, we've been doing a lot of truck camping, but today we're gonna to be doing things a little bit different and we're gonna be doing some fishing. We're gonna be going for some walleyes and hopefully, hopefully we can do a little walleye catch and cook video for you guys. Now, we've got See, Nick here. We got the goods, Oh, not the truck tent like Brandon was saying. We're just going with the standard Coleman uh, two person tent. We're gonna be setting it up, like Brandon said, out on his property. We do have to be pretty quick about it because it's about eight o'clock right now. And we do plan on going walleye fishing, obviously. And we are hungry, we have not ate dinner yet. So plan is to go catch some walleyes, come back, make a fire, cook the walleyes on the fire, and then go to bed. So we gotta be really quick and efficient about this. So we're gonna go over here. Should we see how fast we can set this thing up? I mean, what this is like a super fast one, right? It says it's the fast pitch up to 50% faster setup. I thought there was like a thing that said actually, how, oh yeah, five minutes setup. So, I don't know, five, five minutes, minutes, two people, that's probably one person. So two people, we should be like two and a half. Okay, so I don't know do if it. we can do it, but we're gonna, we're gonna attempt it. All right, well. Look at that. We got her set up. That Wasn't only took bad. like probably three minutes, I'd say. We could probably improve, but it was not bad. We didn't put the whole thing over the top, but we're not really supposed to get any rain or anything like that tonight. So we should be fine. I think it's gonna be good here. Let's grab the sleeping bags, pillows, and stuff like that and get her loaded up. Okay, well, grab these as well. We're limited on supplies. We are, as you guys could tell, Last time that we were out here camping on my property, we had John and Sam Lehman up from Mindac Outdoors and they were making fun of us for our setup because we had an air mattress. That sucked. That, uh, it sucked. <laughs> Bottom line is it was awful. And we woke up in the morning and there was basically no air left and it was pretty well botched. So, so what do uh, we got for uh, comforter today? Comforter no is going so to be rock hard this? ground. Oh, oh, nothing. Okay, cool. <laughs> nothing at all. The boys are sending it right here least, on this beautiful grass. grass. It is nice. No, we got to definitely load up on some new supplies, maybe some new, well, we could do an air mattress or we could do a memory foam mattress or we could Ooh. do cots Ooh. and then... I like all the options besides the ground. So. Yeah, the ground sucks, but oh well, it's one night. I'm more interested in just getting out fishing. So we're gonna go ahead, get everything all set up here and then we're gonna head to the lake. So we will see you guys when we get there. All right, there we go. Well, we got the kayaks ready to rock. I'm gonna go ahead, get these out of the truck. Just put her down to the lake. We are gonna be rowing out a little ways until we get to where we need to be. But basically what we're gonna be doing is setting up for walleyes tonight and we're gonna be jigging them or maybe even throwing some like Rapalas and stuff like that. Throwing some crankbaits and see if we can get them into the shorelines on some very rocky bottoms and stuff like that. Maybe fish a couple spots that have some down trees, some structure and stuff like that as well. So we're gonna go ahead, load up the yaks and we'll see you guys when we get out on the water. I wish we would have brought all of our tackle, but somehow in the midst of driving all the way out here, we forgot to grab some of our tackle boxes, so. Some of it, I mean. Most, like all of it. Like No plastics <laughs> besides a Mr. Twister. Yeah, we've got Mr. Twister, so that's good. Uh, gotta love throwing the old Twister tail. It's gonna have to work for us tonight because it's basically the only plastic we've got. Otherwise, we've got some Rapalas and stuff like that, throwing some crankbaits and whatnot, but uh, we're very limited. Also, the sun is going down, as you can tell. It's a perfect time to get out here and catch some walleyes, but we're not gonna be running the GoPro or anything like that. Strictly running off the big camera tonight. We're fairly limited, but let's just get out here, see if we can enjoy our night and uh, get away with some eater-sized walleyes. That's oh, the goal. Yeah. I'm freaking so, starving. Dude. Yeah, we so, gotta try and do a catching. I cook. need you to freaking put your big boy pants on <laughs> and right. catch me some walleyes. All right? All right, let's do it. Here we go. So we just got out on the main lake. Check out this freaking view. Super calm, just like glass out here. You got the sun going down. Pretty much all we need now is just just a few walleyes. Not many. This is beautiful. Oh God, like this is worth it just itself getting out here and looking at this. I mean, oh my God, look at this. It is crazy. Now, just to make it even better, if I was going like this, but I was holding a walleye right here, oh god, imagine how good that would look. Yeah, 
feels decent, whatever. First fish. Crappie? Crappie. I thought it was a small mouth. Are I'm you even husky kidding jerk? me? Okay, check that out. It's a beautiful little crappie. Not very dark in color. I've never seen them actually munch on the old husky. Dude, he smoked it. I thought it was a smallmouth. Like, that's a decent little crappie. Not bad. That's super aggressive. I mean, look at the size of the bait, and he clobbered it, too. I don't know. Where, where do you want to... You can toss him in my basket, I guess, for now. Okay. Don't, we don't even have a stringer, either. We don't have a stringer with us. We're not... Don't have ex stringer. Don't have tackle. Not extremely well prepared, but we are catching fish. Oh god, yeah. First fish for me. It's not really doing anything. I mean, I definitely feel weight. But, chances are that's probably a walleye, because a lot of people say, you know, they feel like just a wet rag, which they do. Oh yeah, here he is. No net either. Just add it to the list of stuff that we don't have. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Alright. There we go. There we go. Limited that tackle. It's actually a nice little walleye. It's a perfect size eater. Now the lake we are fishing, it is three under 14 of any size, so you could keep an eight inch if you really felt like it. Otherwise it's one over 14, so this one's definitely gonna be the one over 14, but look at how he munched that Mr. Twister and the VMC Moon Eye Jig, which is crazy. Like I don't <laughs> use this setup on any other lake, but we've actually been coming out here. Uh, Brandon lives fairly close to this lake, so we decided to start actually, um, getting out here and trying it and stuff while we're doing our camping and whatnot and it's it's been paying off so nice little eater i got mine we got a crappie uh we pretty much got a catch and cook already good i mean this will be plenty for both of us for the night but um still not even dark out yet so brandon can still get one over 14 or we could uh maybe get a few under 14 so cast around see what happens i don't know it it's making me feel like we could possibly maybe catch a lot of these and maybe even some big ones so get back to it whoo alrighty well we just made it to shore guys we only came up with the one crappie and the one walleye I branched off from Nick for a little bit and I was fishing a little bit weedier part and I actually lost a really really nice size crappie right at the yak so I was pretty disappointed about that Nick did get one other smallmouth as well of course we're not gonna be eating any smallmouth tonight but we got the one crappie and we got the one walleye so we are going to load up the yaks into the truck, send it all the way back out to where we're camping. We're going to get a fire started, and we will see you guys when we get there. Made it back to the truck, got the old cutting board out, got the two fish, the only two fish, but we were only out there for, I don't know, half an hour maybe, so I actually can't even believe we went out there and caught a walleye, but we did. About 17 inches, and I don't know, crappie is probably about 10. What we're doing after I fillet these out, we got our cast iron here. And we got this bad boy. We're gonna be setting the cast iron on there, getting it going. And got our oil. We're gonna be using some frying magic. And then to go with that, we have an arrangement of different spices that we're gonna be tossing in there as well. Just keeping it nice and simple. And then after all that, after we uh, make it, we're gonna make ourselves a fire enjoy the rest of the night but I'm gonna start filleting these bad boys out here oh god yeah Brandon's knife is nice and sharp must no, have just dude. sharpened this huh that thing's dull what yeah this doesn't feel dull at all I'm telling you man you're doing a pretty good job with it but it's not the most sharp it doesn't seem bad it's not it's not terrible well, it's better than the one I have in my truck I'll tell you that okay well We've got all of our fillets here, ready to rock. We rinsed them off, poured them in some water and stuff like that. But they are looking beautiful. Now, I'm just gonna set these down. Rip out the old frying magic. And what you think, Nick? Oh, this stuff's thick. I mean, enough to batter all of that. So, whatever you think, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and toss the old fillets in here. One walleye and one crappie. Neither one of them were massive. I mean, a decent amount of fish. By enemies, yeah, but that's that's a thing. That's why it's amazing. Oh, yeah, I see those too. Ooh. I even took out the walleye cheeks. Look the walleye that. cheeks. I know, I I am some professional. Those are like the best part ever oh, yeah. to if any fish. Oh, yeah, you guys have not taken out the cheeks of a walleye, like, you're missing out. That's like... That's a must-have. That, oh, yeah, like a little snack, but it's, it is good. 
You might wonder, like, how could one bite make that much food? I'm telling you, take the cheeks out of the walleye. Yes. <laughs> the face cheeks up here. These. Yeah. Not, not the butt cheeks. Not the butt cheeks. I don't even cheeks. know if they have those. <laughs> I don't think they do. How much do you think we need? Uh, just enough to probably cover the bottom should be okay. We can spin the fillets pretty well inside of here. They're all covered. So now, ooh, oh, there yeah. it is. Okay, I'll take this. Woo. Wow, hello. <laughs> all right, anyways, I'll let that warm up, I guess. Now this could get interesting. We um, don't tip this. Yeah, don't tip that. You tip that and um, you're gonna have a really, really bad day. Also, the next problem that we have for these walleye fillets and crappie fillets are tongs. This is it, this is all we got. We've got <laughs> our big boy tongs out today. These little clappy things. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know where, why I have these. Where did these come from? Beyond me, but they were in my drawer and I thought, you know what, we're gonna use them. We only got two fish, so should work pretty well, but uh, hopefully we don't get burned. I didn't really think of that. Yeah, the grease is gonna splatter. When this, yeah, when this gets <laughs> hot, it's gonna splatter right everywhere. Oh yeah, look at that, just dig right in. Whole hand's gonna be engulfed in flames, you watch. No, we hope not. <laughs> it's warmed up, it's not by any means in full force quite yet, but it's pretty hot and it's just starting to boil. So we're gonna go ahead, take our fillets. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah, things are looking real good. Yeah, that's actually a decent amount of fish for just the two fish. Yeah. And, and like you said, not even the big ones. It's just... Right. These are just two average, decent sized fish. Probably like a 10 or 11 inch crappie. And what was that one? Like 17 inches for yep. the walleye? So that is not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, I've least... actually never no. had the uh, frying stuff. Frying either. magic? No, I've never had it. I'm always Pretty good. a shore lunch guy. So. I'm also a shore lunch guy. Or I've had shake and bake too. But not bad. Frying magic. We're giving it a dangle tonight. We're gonna give these a couple minutes, get them down into the grease. Oh man, these are gonna be real good, guys. Oh God, yeah. Boys, that the is fish is looking good. real good. Oh man. Whew. Don't tip oh, that. Tip that. Don't tip that. We'd have a freaking disaster on our hands. Look at that. Man, I'm surprised you did not burn your hand off. Look at those tiny little walleye cheeks. Ooh. Ooh. Good angle. Pop her in. Tell me how it is. Dude, that's freaking good. Oh, I believe it. That's the best part right there. I and mean, that's just a little walleye. You catch a nice size one, big old fatty. Take those cheeks out. Very, very good. Now. As you guys know from watching our channel, we typically do not like taking big old walleyes out of any of the lakes that we fish out of. But obviously people do catch some nice sized walleyes. And when you get a bigger fish like that, those cheeks are more well developed, especially in an older fish. It's very, it's kind of like the tenderloin out of a deer or something like that. Kind of the same, same style of uh, piece of meat coming from a fish though so very good now these are all set and ready to go for us we are gonna let them cool down just a little bit more probably not a bad idea honestly because they're extremely hot i mean they just came out of like four thousand freaking degrees <laughs> <laughs> straight out of the grease but let's crack one open and just see what they look like inside Ooh, it's hot oh yeah oh Thank yeah goodness. look at that falls right apart that's when you know but I think this is safe to eat. I'm gonna just. Think so? I was gonna say we could make a fire too and let them cool off. Yep. If you want. Yep. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, it's hot though. We're gonna start. Oh my god. <sighs> you could have waited. <laughs> oh man, that is really good though. All right, I'm gonna not burn my tongue. We're gonna go ahead, start making a fire, and then we're gonna let these cool down so that they're ready to eat. Well, guys, got the fire going. Fish is cooled down now. That is good. I think this was a crappie, but it's still pretty good. I don't even care for crappie that much if you compare it to a walleye. But it's pretty good. This fire? This fire feels amazing. Very nice. It's not cold out by any means, but there honestly is nothing better than just chilling by a campfire after a long night. Just relaxing, talking with the people that you're around and you know, just being out in nature. Munching really on some is. fish? Yeah, munching on fish. Take some before I eat it. Nothing oh, better, God, really. 
unfortunately I think this is where we're gonna end today's video you know it is pretty late it's uh, let me check actually it's after 11 o'clock already you know we're just going to finish eating this fish up enjoy the rest of this fire and uh, we're probably gonna hit the hay because tomorrow morning we're gonna actually go hit the water again and film some videos for you this fire is actually getting out of hand my knees are burning but I don't feel like getting up and moving this but um, yeah like I said we're gonna end today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed you know the whole camping and the catching and the cooking you know this is definitely something we can do give me some more of that though <laughs> this is definitely something more we can do on the channel because uh, like we said in the beginning of this whole camping stuff we do this on the daily this is not anything new for holy Jesus dude my knees are freaking on fire right now <laughs> oh my god this is nothing new like I was saying though we do this every single day up here you know this is definitely our bread and butter so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up let us know down in the comments section if you want to see more catching cooks or what would you like to see in the camping videos uh, we are pretty much open to do whatever you guys want so leave it down in the comment section below if you guys are new to the channel and you want to see more videos from us make sure you hit the subscribe button also make sure to hit the notification bell it's right next to the subscribe button that'll notify you guys every time we upload a video we're gonna have to contain this fire and make sure we don't burn down the entire woods up here and uh, we're gonna hit the hay so again make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and until next time tight lines from nb edits